Hello everybody, this is MF and welcome back to more Little Guardsmen. Last time we started the game, we got a new job, all that stuff. Very fun. And uh, we are 9% through the game already, apparently. Uh, we are going to start uh, up again. We're gonna do the game. And go back to the dig site. Alright, so here's the, the doctor. Forgot her name, but it's a doctor. Who we know, but... She won't know us. Something like that. Here we are. Um, yeah, okay. Just talk to the doctor, I guess. Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. I need you to listen to me. Something very strange is going on. My name is Lil, don't you remember me? Oh, Lil, from the phone call earlier, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. Do you get it? No, I don't get this time either. I already told you no. Oh, wait, I actually do. My name is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological... Mological research at the Royalty School for Smart People. You said I can call you Trixie. We've been through this before. I'd prefer if you called me B. Oh. And this is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make a time machine. Then you baited me with promises of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your silly little time machine and now I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here. Any questions? Uh, well, uh, how about we uh, time travel? Wait, why am I asking you questions? For any of this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. May I present the Chronometer 3000? Yeah, 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 we've been through this before. Wait, where did it go? Do you mean this? I got it. My invention! How did you get that? We already told you! You gave it to me. Well, not really, but you were gonna give it to me, I think. You were in the middle of explaining. And you were seduced by the glowing red button. Yes. Can you blame me? Yes, but it is a good button. Is I'm good just button. proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. That was a risk? That risk becomes much lower once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. Damn. We, we could have died. We, we, we could have died. At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype. And I need a willing gate guard to use the device. Uh. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? Yeah, um, yeah. Right people. Individuals or groups that would improve the daily life of the inhabitants of the sprawl, rather than those who would see harm come to the community and castle. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's typically what that means. Isn't that subjective? Well, yeah, that too, actually. Yes, well, I suppose it is. But recently the kingdom has seen a rise in rebellious factions, envious neighboring nations, not to mention the resentful mages guild since the power crystal has replaced most household magical applications. Magical application, so we had that before the crystals. One wrong choice could trigger a domino effect that could lead to the fall of the sprawl. I'm sure it's not that serious. So to recap, you're giving me, a 12-year-old who worked exactly one day at the castle gate, the power to rewind time? Why not just use it yourself? I have been testing the device myself for months. In fact, I used it to repeat a month's worth of the same day and learn to play the oboe. Can I show you? Maybe later. <laughs> it's like the uh, Monkey Island uh, thing. <laughs> She's gonna say maybe later, right? Oh, well, perhaps another time. Yes. My calculations suggest that no changes I could make from my post at the Royal Academy would have nearly the impact on the sprawl that you gate guards do. Academia, am I right? <laughs> so I came to the conclusion that trying it out at the gate is a calculated risk worth taking. Ah. Uh, so if I make a mistake, I can 
time travel and I can do it again and do it right. I think I get the idea, Dr. B. I'm ready to go out in the world and use this device properly, and definitely not to win the lottery or to repeatedly watch people trip and fall over and over again. Or travel forward in time to collect a sports book, travel back in time, and bet. Yeah, that's the same as lottery. You'd want that? I have a feeling you're not using your science experiments to their full potential. Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Oh. Ah, oh, rats. Yeah, I agree with that. Furthermore, by default, the device will automatically allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. Ah. Oh. However, I hacked it a bit so that you can jump back to a specific point in the turn. Hack is the key word, though. Okay, yeah, you did say hack, right? Okay, I mean, that's what I said earlier, pretty much. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. I will summon you soon, and we will see what else you might be ready for. Thank you, Lil. The world thanks you. That's it. Okay. No pressure. Absolutely no pressure at all. You can do this. Just try not to break space and time. I'll, I guarantee you that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Maybe I should have mentioned I was only working the gate for one day. Oh well. Oh, it's getting okay. pretty late. I should head home. Yeah. Probably good idea. Alright, where's... Okay. The tavern is home. Okay, we work at the... We live at the tavern. That's... That's neat. More exposition? Oh, maybe. We can sleep or we can probably maybe 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 talk who's this fella uh, sorry fella what am i talking about who's this girl your dad's over there yeah there he is looking smug for some reason you're a specimen aren't you legend has it that this neon sign was made by a company that makes custom neon signs well cool i mean that's Right. That's where they keep the good stuff. Arda will only open a bottle for people she knows will pay their tab. Uh, uh, I'm guessing she's Arda then. The talented woman over there. You remember this working when you were little? Pretty great collection of tunes. Your dad always says you will. If you ever save enough money, you could ship in to get her fixed. That's cool. I actually want to do that. Uh, could I not talk to the woman back here? Can I run, by the way? Can I not? No? Can I not talk to this girl over here? The girl with the tattoo of the snake? No? She has tattoos, too, actually. I guess tattoos is a thing in this place. But then, I have a sweater with a heart on it, so I, I'm not surprised. This ain't the nicest place in town, but there's always a warm fire going on. Alright. Hello. Hey, hey, there she is, my hard-working angel face, sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. You didn't win your gambling, did you? No, but it wasn't my fault. The other team was just too good. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet, so... Yeah, well... That'll be 15 gold for the ale. Okay. And now we don't have any left. Hey, Lil, did you take any bribes or pickpocket anyone today? Uh, yeah, sure. I can give him the gold. Okay, so here's a decision to make. Should we keep it for ourselves? Or should we give it to our gambling losing father? You know what? We'll be a good daughter. Although, saying that, are we good for giving him that? I got this because off an old mean type way. of guy. He had an assistant that he just kept walloping and walloping? I don't think he likes his work. This is perfect! Arda, a round for everybody! I'll be right back after I call my guy. Thanks again, Lil. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you'll never believe what happened. Right at the end of my shift, I got this phone call, okay? Asking me to come down to the dig site. Did you remember to lock up the shed? 
What? Yes. And turn off the light? Yes, I did. Whatever. Just listen. You gotta make sure to turn off the light, Lil. They'll charge us for the overnight usage. Oh my god, okay. I remember to turn off the light. I think. Maybe. Anyways, Dad, I met this professor at the dig site, and she had this time machine, and when I touched the time machine, I went back in time. Then she gave me the time machine to use when I worked the guard shed for you, but it only works at the guard shed, so that was kind of a bummer. But it's super cool, and it only works for me. Mm. That's great, sweetie. I'm glad you liked covering for me today. But you don't have to make up stories just so you can work another shift. Wait, no, that's not what's happening. I... No. Anytime you want to be just like Daddy and work down at the guard shed, all you need to do is ask. What a nice guy. Dad, you're not fully comprehending what I'm trying to tell you. What's it hey, matter? Arda, did you hear? Lil's making up cute stories so she can be more like her old man. Oh, that's so sweet. Very sweet indeed. I have the power to manipulate time and I demand to be taken seriously! Uh. Okay, okay, I understand. I can see that you're serious. Seriously adorable. But honestly, Lil, you can cover for me anytime you like. You're probably doing a better job than me anyways. I mean, that's for sure. This isn't how I expected it to go. Well, how did you expect it to go? You're a 12-year-old kid telling s some story that it happens to be true, but it's pretty ludicrous. Speaking of that, I better call my guy and make a bet on the next game. It's getting late. You better get upstairs to bed, Missy. Good night, Lil. Um. Vengeful, Lil. What? All right. You'll rue the day you didn't believe in my powers of space and time. You'll see. You'll all see. Uh, all we can see is how cute you are, sweets. I love it. As cute we as her mother. We are very cute. We are very cute. Whatever. Good night, Dad. Good luck with your gambling. I don't need luck. <laughs> I beg to differ. All right, so I guess that's it. Can we not talk to her now? I guess we can't talk to her. Can we talk to the other one now? Is that a thing we can do now? Or does she say something when we go to bed? Whew, I'm pooped. That's I'm enough adventure for okay. one day. I'm ready to hit the sack. All right, let's 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 go to bed. Let's start the next day, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. On her way to the bar, Miss Abernathy accidentally walked into two more tutorials, causing her to be late to make the, a bet on the big goblin ball game. Her grandson's inheritance is safe for now. All right, how about this? Geronius Athanatos gave his keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedoms inspired most in the crowd. The divide between magical and non-magical beings grew a little more than that, that that night. He is indebted to Councilwoman Ash for influence in facilitating his smooth admittance into the sprawl. After Denise picks up her kid, she moved them safely out of view, but not airshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. Polyphemus and Orlando Jr. learned a handful of new words that day, and some they already knew. This is good music. Due to your cunning confiscation and denying the old coots, Grumpkin T. Dankworth was unable to make his sizable deposit of illegal blood gold to BS. Thank you, this point. Unfortunately, it happened on the same day of an unprecedented volume of cash withdrawals. This caused the bank to run and close early. People panicked. They burned a bank to the ground. Mr. Dankworth refused to donate money to have, he, to, uh, to have it rebuilt. Of course he did. Garby Brunches found a vacant pl plot of land in the alley between the Twisted Sisters Tavern and set up his Emporium of Wonders. That's nice. We helped the guy start a business. Level 2. Let's go. Good morning! You're listening to The Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. Oh. I'm your host, Dodger, joined as always by my co-host, The Ham, who I will remind you is a live pig. <coughs> Let's jump right in and get your morning started and muse over the news. Today in the headlines... 
It was just announced that the heir to the throne, Princess Desdemona, has come of age and will be taking a suitor. No, I don't think Desdemona wants a pig as a husband, the ham. But then again, neither did my ex-wife. <laughs> hey -oh! hey -oh! With multiple suitors making their way into the city, expect backups and delays across all major routes this morning. Now let's get to the music. You're listening to the Morning Crawl here in the Sprawl with Dodger and the Ham. All right, that's it. All right. That clock is not changing, by the way. That's just gonna be 6 a.m. forever. That's gonna be 6 a.m. forever. All right, let's go. All right, we're 60 minutes in. I liked it better when it was Dodger and the Cluck, but I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. Uh. All right, well, um, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm wondering now if I should wait till the next time to do another day, but eh, we should do a little bit, I think. The angst demands the tweens and tweens at heart. I think I should find my dad. Good thing I always sleep in my clothes and I'm ready to go. Uh, that sounds uncomfortable. All right. That's the official crest of the sprawl and the royal family. Can I look at anything else? The skateboard? No. The Game Boy or whatever that is. Uh, nothing else? What's A this? note? A note. Dear little, please come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Love that. Okay. Maybe he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Well, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get to use the Chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. So we go down to the guard shed, and then we do a little- And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation, which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? Any questions? Many questions. Many questions, but let's not ask many. Hey, Dad, I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. Oh. Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground as a result of your actions, any guardsman who does not receive an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. Wait a minute, what? What did I do? Oh, because he didn't get to do the bloodshed? What? But I need my job blood for gambling. Blood, uh, the blood gold. He because he didn't get to donate his blood gold, that happened. Okay. I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. You and I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole-ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above average job performance with cash bonuses. Oh. You mean if we get more four-star results, we'll make more money? You're as quick as your father. Before I go, here hey. are the allotted crystals to power your tools. Okay. Cool. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. Oh, poor Randy. Not Randy. That guy's a riot. Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish me luck. I don't want to. Oh, jeez. Randy was just three payments away from paying off his new catapult. Really? Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. More like you need to start doing my job better. Just like you wanted to. Okay. No, that's not exactly what I meant. I, you don't just get to leave me here Will you go bet on goblin ball games. No goblin ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty, and they specifically referenced that you need to cover for me again. They told you that me specifically had to do that. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Uh, again, not what I meant. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best client. Ah. Oh. But he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. I like those odds as well. Oh, Dad. 
You really need to talk to somebody about your gambling. Sure. I love you too, Lil. And with that, I'm off. Remember, two stars are better or we're out on our asses. I see. No pressure. No pressure at That's all. That's my girl. Right, so let's do a little work, I guess. What's the royal wit today? Okay, Malcolm, rather than repairing the dungeon which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. Okay, so Malcolm is the guy, I think. Expect the imminent arrival of two envoys vying for an, an alliance with the Sprawl. That's two envoys, not one, not three, but two. Four is right out. Uh, take this opportunity for cultural exchange and learn as much as you can. Really get them talking. All right. Uh, the Duchess of Scarborough's award-winning feline companion, Sprankles, shall be arriving in its miniature royal carriage this week. Okay. As so always, treat any non-human visitor Goblin, gnome, ogre, etc. with extra scrutiny. Remember, if you see something, say something. Right. Let's get to it. It's been 20 minutes, but um, here we are. Okay, we don't have to do this yet. Um, I think we have... Oh, we, uh, we put the thing in the thing, right? We put the crystals in, right? So I want to put in one with the decoding ring, potentially. Um, I want to put one with the... Root serum. One here. And I guess potentially one of these in these. We'll see if they work. Maybe we need to. Alright, here we go. He's the guy. Hello, oh. ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Oh, yeah, the painter. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Okay. Um, let's ask You have him. paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real job. I'm a painter. I paint things like walls and doors. Ah. An artist? <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. Um, I'll trust him. I guess this is fine. It was on the royal decree. You may laugh, but I'm sure that you're an artist at heart. I'll have to tell Mrs. McGoblin that. <laughs> She'll never believe she's been married to an artist all these years. <laughs> cool. Alright, um... I don't think I need to do anything here. I think this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Many thanks. Say, before I go, do you have a favorite color? Uh, nope. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite color. Oh, you really should. Oh, well, I will paint with all of these colors in your honor. Thank you again. Nice. All right, that's probably fine, right? Oh, never mind. Wait a minute, what? So it didn't remove the violent criminals from the jail being painted. Okay. You know what? We'll we'll restart. We're on, we're on the first one, so we might as well restart. Okay. So the 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 time traveling device is an excuse to it's just to start the game again. Right. Oh, we have to do this again. Okay. We we'll put that there. We put that there. Uh, you know what? Metal detector is probably going to be better. So I'll do one change. Um, and then there. Okay. Let's begin. Hello. Just have my supply. All right. Let's call him. It's Malcolm. <laughs> Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, Toot Sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Right. What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo, after all. Huh. <laughs> all right, so let's talk to him. You have paint with me. We did this already. I'll trust him. 
then we will let him in. Okay. There we go. Many thanks. Say, before I go... Uh, let's go green this time. I like green, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting green in your honor. Nice. Thank you again. There we go. I didn't get the thing. What do you want, a parade? <laughs> no, I'm um, fine. Didn't get a little thing on it, the, the little ribbon. Hear ye, ribbon. hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad. Ah. Prince Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen Talia. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think I got it. Ah, oh, okay. Well. We got, um... Hmm. This seems weird, actually. Um... I don't know if I want to use a thing, though. Do I? I mean, I can try. I don't need the x-ray. I think, I guess I don't need it, no. Um, I'll ask him something. Prince Phineas himself will arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the Royal Sulphur Mines of Petrard. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. Okay, um... I don't know. I... I'll tease him. I guess you weren't important enough to go to the big party, huh? As a matter of fact, the prince assured me it was much more important that I travel all the way here to announce his eventual arrival. And you bought that? I did until just this moment. Uh. You know what? This guy seems harmless. Wait a minute. I need to check the royal decree. I don't know if there was anything. The royal writ, sorry. Decree. I guess it's the same thing, really. Um. Treat any non human visitor with extra scrutiny. So. Basically, I guess we can call someone. Might as well, just like, fuck, I don't know, Ash? Oh, they're starting to arrive. How wonderful. This is the representative of Prince Phineas Pomp, son of King Phineas and Queen... Oh, dear, what was her name again? Buttermilk. None for me, thanks. Anyway, let them in. But for the love of... Don't let them in with that bugle. Not until I've gotten over this dreadful hangover, at least. Okay, well confiscate the thing, I guess? Can I see that trumpet or whatever that you've got there? That is my official Petrardian greeting bugle. It is my pride and joy, and worth quite a pretty penny. Take it. I think for the sanity, I mean safety, of our citizens, I better take that. Oh, if you must, but please be very careful with my pride and joy. Okay. I'm glad I called, actually. I think that'll be fine, then. Maybe we should always call. Use all our actions. Onward, to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrard and future husband to uh -huh. Princess Desdemona. Well, maybe. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. Uh huh. If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold tonight. I will meet you at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. This is. This is blackmail. Well, it's bribery more than blackmail. I don't know. You fleeced the high-ranking visiting dignitary and took his bugle away. He was terrible, so that's basically a public service. Good job. Thank you. I believe, however, that someone is arriving, but that's... 
Good afternoon, child. I would like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. Oh. Okay. But you know what? I think I'm gonna end here. Uh, it's been 30 minutes. I think that's gonna be my limit for this uh, episodes. Uh, so wherever I stop at the mark is where we start back up next time. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time for more Little Guardsmen. See you then. Bye-bye.